Uh, hi everyone, I'm Alfred. Um, welcome back to Friday Night Roguelikes. Again, playing FTL, Faster Than Light. I have not changed the names. I have changed... Oh, we got Stick back. <laughs> um, I have changed the ship and I've named it the Cube. Yes, that is how you spell Cube. Don't at me. Um, so we've got a very, very unusual setup. So this is the default ship you get from... Beating... How do you get this? How do you get this? I think you just get to, like, Area 5 in this thing or something. Defeat the flagship with an NG cruiser. Oh, boy. Um... So, NG, you know, they're the engineer race. Oh, jeez. Oh, we lost stick. Oh, well. Cube. Kirby. Yeah, you're going to be stick. Stick, Bonfi M, and Emily. Oh, Emily's back. Interesting. So, this is a very, very unusual ship. We have no way to directly attack anyone because all we have from the start is an ion blast. We can stun things, essentially EMP them, but we cannot actually directly attack them. We have to use drones. And the reason that I was going to um, do a second... Th uh... Oh, we spawn in the nebula, huh? That's good. Means we'll have less later on, right? So the reason that I wanted to do this is... Oh, okay. We didn't get to see any drones. Drones are very interesting to me. Unremarkable binary star system. Nothing else around. But anyway, because um, we didn't see drones in play, essentially you burn one of these and power this up to get a drone going. Wow, that's really expensive. Um... This will only stun things. It cannot attack directly, but this will fight for you. It's your only way of doing damage until you get an actual weapon. <laughs> so, you know, there's that. So, very unusual way of fighting where you have... Where your only way of fighting is ammunition-based, and it's outside of you. And you can only stun. Um, you arrive in the sector to see a small outpost being bombarded by an automated drone. Federation base you were told about. So, let's power this up. You can see you burn one of these. We're going to Ion Blast. And this is our guy going around and bombarding them. And then meanwhile, you can see us taking uh, Ion Blasts to this. To these, which will stun them. We've only lost one point of damage because they've been... Yep, that was nice and easy. Got a drone part back. We got 14 scrap and two missiles. Threat gone. Our location is compromised. Check out if you can. Drop these fires off in the next station. <gasps> wow. That was really good. That was amazing. So we've got um, a beam weapon now. How do beams work? Can Kurt across the entire ship, assuming there's no shield to stop? They can't fight shields. Okay. So we also heal slightly with everyone, slowly, you know. So that means we're going to have to bump this up, huh? And then we're going to need to... This ship is eventually just going to turn into a, a gun with an engine on the back. <laughs> uh, us having another crew member is pretty good, though. Another NG by the looks of it. Uh, intervene to defend the outpost. So you can see that it's also a very weird shape. For one, it has a hole in the middle, which is pretty disadvantageous. You go there. And then you take out the shield. And then you get our shield up. See, the fact that you have to fight with a drone is very very interesting 
it totally removes your ability to reliably do damage on your own. You have to, have to, have to have ammunition. Drone parts. Um, which means that you need to use your resources a lot smarter. The Ion Blast charge is pretty fast, actually. It's so fast, I'm not even used to how quick it's charging. And we got some good shit. Drone part back. Thanks for the help. Another drone part. So we're in the money when, when it comes to drone parts. So let's... um, Yeah. And then now we can actually fuel this up to full. But we don't have a drone. But we can attack. So what we can do here is we can stun them with the Ion Blast and take out the shield with the Ion. And then Pike Beam them. And uh, just, you know, essentially drill through the ship with a laser. Ah, oh, crap. Pirate ship's lying in wait. They move in to attack. So let's see how this even works. Let's stun that. And then we'll shoot that. Cool. Trying to get away. But luckily we've already busted their... Oh, I see. I've never used a pike beam before, so it goes through the whole thing. Okay, so it, like, it paints across the whole shit. That's pretty interesting. So we took a few hits, but that's okay. I would love to be able to Ooh, we got to get a uh, we got to get you over there. So you can repair that. We probably won't be able to get too much, but let's stop by the store and take a look anyway. Tail recharge or long range scanners. Well, let's fix ourselves and get another fuel. Let's go one more. Yeah, that's fine. Um, yeah, I feel pretty good about our... Uh, I feel pretty good about uh, the ship as it is. Distress Beacon. Let's go help. Honor Before Reason. I usually play Honor Before Reason. Thanks for responding to our beacon. FTL has gone haywire. We cannot plot a course to the nearest depot to get it fixed. Could you lead us there? Sure. They're going to give us some scrap as a down payment, and then we're going to get them... Um, So you can see that it's pretty dangerous to dance around like this. Um, but I think we will be able to get back in time. You're ambushed by a rebel ship. Walked right into their trap. Okay. Blast the shield. Pike beam. Starting here. And then we can actually pop four rooms maximum. Nice. That's really, really good. And then another four rooms. Keep Ion blasting the shield. Four, one, thirteen. Not a chance. Yeah, there you go. Another four rooms there. Because this still isn't fixed. So they're not able to jump away, nor are they able to... So because uh, I fucked that up, <laughs> I was a, they actually managed to pull a fast one on me and got the shields back up, but the pike beam was unable to, and the pike beam was unable to help out there. So less missiles, but that's okay. I'm not using them. And 17 instead of 13. That's pretty good. We're going to need that because uh, we need more power. We need more stuff to power the drones and our weapon systems. Okay. This is going to be a little dangerous. Because we're going to be scooting along the edge here. Uh, let's top off. We might not have another chance to top off, so we may as well get it while we can. So we're right, right behind the... Uh. Let's be, let's be a hero. On him for a reason. Shields down.
Okay, so we can get three rooms this way, and that one takes out their shields and their... That one takes out their shields and their oxygen and their piloting. And then we can just stun that. Yeah, the 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 charge of the ion blast is so quick, it honestly like disarms me. Fine, it wasn't generous. That's improve it. That's not very much improvement. Sorry, but you're all going to die. I could have sliced across the back of it here. I don't think it'll matter, though. The next one will kill him, right? All right. Arms dealer that usually works with rebels, but I'll make an exception. Ooh. Okay, so we can get more drawings. We got two pages. Okay. So we can't actually afford anything, but let's stock up on these. Yeah, if I could get a second one of these, that'd be pretty shway. This is going to be trouble. I think I'm going to... Yep, there they are. Rebels got here first. You must survive long enough to get to the next sector. Okay, they've got a pretty big ship, which I think means I'll be able to cut right through Medbay, the bridge, and, uh, yeah, that's, uh, that's pretty good. Assuming I can get this down. Hmm. That could be trouble. Let's focus on that. They've got an amazing weapon system. Oh, get that down. Come on. Oh, damn it. Well, this, uh, this is going the way I thought it might have. We're, um, we're not doing too hot. I'll be honest. If we can take out their weapon systems, though, they... Though they won't hit us. We were doing okay. <laughs> Damn. Well. That's uh that's unfortunate. A paltry score compared to the last one. All right. This one will be the sphere. Though I, uh, I'll actually take a little break here to rest my voice and check the last recording. As well as the video that I'm rendering, I'll be right back because I do want to explore the game with this thing as well. All right, I'll be right back. All right, back in the game. Let's take this thing into overdrive. Right off the bat, a store, huh? Let's take a look. Alien vessels. All right. Another combat droid. Weapon pre-igniter. Ooh, that's a really... Ugh. That's a really good thing. Long range scanners is a... Yeah, that gives more map. And an FTL jammer. That's That would be useful for me, but... Yeah, I don't have any money for any of these. Um, I'll stock up on those, though. Distress Beacon. I always hate being on the left side of the map, because you cannot see past it. Alright, let's try to rescue them. 12 damage, 4 damage to hull, but we got 12. Continue. Damn. I don't even think that's... Well, actually, it'll cost eight, so we got four scrap, which I don't think was worth it. Attack the slaver scum. Um, recognize the ship as a slave trader. He hails you and recognizes laborers for cheap. Scum. So, 
while his stuff is going to be down. Ooh, not good. We surrender. Take one of our slaves as tribute. If you destroy us, they'll all die anyway. Sure. Slave, space slaves is the one thing where I'm like, hmm. Their innate energy can power ship systems. Provides energy to occupied system. Max health is reduced to 70. And they will hurt the enemy when they die, which is pretty radical. So we're actually going to send her to shields. Actually, no. We're going to trade you out. We're going to send you here and you go to shields. So now that gets an extra boost of energy. And they're both considered manned. So yeah, very, very useful. Wow. Lots of people need my help, huh? All right. Let's go check it out. Um... Oh, sorry. Their ship smashes against a cruiser-sized rock. Another store. I'm being more cavalier, although I guess it might be because I have a different ship. Wow, a lot of them, huh? Let's fix these. Hmm... Haven't been able to get a lot of stuff, really. Uh, you begin charging your FTL drive, do a quick staying of a local planet, find the ruins of a recently destroyed Federation colony on the surface. There must be a ship in the vicinity. We couldn't find them. So let's head on. Let's get dangerous. Let's just go to the let's just go straight to the rebel one. Why not? Alright. I'm going to skip that store. Let's go here. I want to cut around the nebula. Automated Rebel Scout floating near the beacon. It appears to be deactivated. Let's strip it. Wow. That's great. Haven't gotten another weapon. Thinking I might... Mm. Let's just get out of here. I might want to pre-upgrade my weapon systems, but it'll honestly be a waste if... Oh, damn it. All right. So let's just keep this down. If nothing else, we'll be able to stop them from boosting away just by holding them in place. Ooh, their oxygen's down. That ought to keep them on their toes. Get that shield off. Bam. Thank you, combat drone. Drone recovery arm. Ooh. Drone recovery arm. Non-destroyed drones will be retrieved when jumping, allowing the parts to be reused. That's so cool. That's so awesome. Um, yeah. And let's put the power into there. Actually, no. You two switch. Shift A? Yeah. And then we've saved that. Oh, you gotta get in there and fix this while we're here. Um, and then I'll need another... Yeah, I'll need another thing of... Um, Yeah, to power the drone, the drones, I will need another uh, power cell, and I will need to unpower the med bay. Um, advanced Rebel Automated Ship remains stationed near a small Rebel Space Station. It's a storage vessel for military good. Let's fuck them up. Okay, that definitely... This is going to be so dangerous. 
this is gonna be so needlessly dangerous. We've cut oxygen to the ship so we can shoot more. <laughs> what a human thing to do. Just, yeah, just cut off the, the breathing shit we're breathing, you know? Just stop it. Okay, okay, okay. <laughs> so I you can. Hell yeah, hell yeah, hell yeah. Okay. I, I need to... Why can't I... Jeez. Our oxygen got down to 50%. <laughs> oh, man. Okay. We're going to need to upgrade this in a big way. And that. So now we have the ability to power all of our drones. Ugh. Let's switch you two around again. Okay, the med bay is still off, and we only have enough go to power one drone at a time. And again, it'll still cost us shit to power the, to make the drones go. So if we have both, it'll cost us two drone parts a, 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 a thing. All right. And they've got a drone as well, but I think we will get that back. If nothing else, actually, we will be able to sell drones for money, which I very much like the idea of. Being able to have cash in the bag is pretty useful, not to mention uh, a very even pick of drones. It's an early ship in easy mode. So, yeah, we, uh, cool. Oh, let's go to the distress beacon. Honor before reason. Damn it. Again, that wasn't worth it. Please get, please fix that before we uh, run out of air. Don't have any. Saws. Playing a lot more dangerous. I feel much less safe. Um, let's go to the rock because I feel like I can bargain with them while I definitely cannot bargain with rebels. Rock people have a particularly aggressive stance towards alien races trespassing in their space. Tread carefully here. Okay, it's fixed. Phew. Nice, big, and empty, though. No nebulas. That's good. Asteroid mining colony. We don't have anything. Sorry. Try to make do with what we have. Yeah, let's cut along the bottom. Running out of few. Damn it! Intruders on board, huh? That is not good. Hmm. Yeah, this isn't uh this isn't great. Her being there, however, powers it, which is actually pretty smart of me. Good job, me. But yeah, unfortunately, because everyone's a uh Because everyone's an NG, none of us know how to fight. Meanwhile, I'm just trying to fight this. Yeah, we'll we'll take that. Chicken shit. Still got to kill the guys you left here, huh? Oh, I should have killed them. They only got one hole left. What happens if I just jump away now? So the merchant. Okay. They're still here? You jackasses. Here, send the human in.
Wait, get out of there. Oh, he didn't leave. This sucks. I've just got these assholes on my ship and they won't go away. This blows. I was feeling really good about this attempt, too, and then this happened. I keep feeling okay about these attempts, and then... Oh, I wasn't fucking paying attention. All right. You go in there, then. Let's just send everyone in there. Nope, we have to kill them. We have to kill them. They have to get off the boat. Where the hell are they? Oh, well, I guess I found them. The good news is, is that fighting in here means that we'll be getting healed at all times. This is just stupid. What a load of shit. <sighs> all right. At the very least, we'll have enough power to power a bunch of shit now. with our two crew members. Jerkovs. <sighs> I mean, Jesus, the indignity of some people. Also, wow, he really does fix things quick. Valeria, possibly she, but you know, that's okay. Okay. Let's get the fuck out of here. Want to trade? Sure. I don't have the ability to use that right now. Actually, I guess I do, but I don't need it. Uh, I would love to get lasers, but I guess I'll just fix it and stock up. I'm, I'm kind of already writing off this attempt. <laughs> I, I don't feel confident about this. Uh, uh, you receive a message meant to degrade you as aliens. You have expected an attempt. It came from a civilian shuttle. We're we just getting cyberbullied in space? That's hardly fun. Uh, you can counter a small craft with minimal propulsion. Its rock crew member explains the rock home rulers run on lies and propaganda to keep Apophis in check, and they want no part of it. Their god sent them here to join their crew. Promise to show with them the truth. They've been denied. These are the lies I sought to escape. Damn it. No, guys. Now you're going to die. I was hoping to get you on my side. I probably shouldn't have gone for the whole god thing. That might have been a little much, you know? Damn it. Alien vessel, cease your attack. We will pay. No, you started it. Asshole. Besides, I paid my drone part. I'm going to I'm going to get in this, you know? I'm going to I'm going to end your ship. Certainly going to take a while considering how little damage I'm doing. They've ioned out. This is what this is what it looks like when you when you've been ioned, by the way. Which is to say, hit with an ion attack. Uh, there you go. Now die. There we go. Perfect. Now I need two. Oh, this is still under repairs. There we go. I'll hold on to that. Um, drone parts for scrap. Uh, I feel like that's not a good, a good trade. Slug controlled nebula, huh? So the slugs are neutral, as you can tell by the purple dot. Slugs live in this nebula are a leisure centered civilization. Everything in slug life is done in pursuit of more currency and more time in which to spend on extravagant adventures. This leads to treachery and open space. The thing about scumbags in space is that they're reliable, you know, in a weird way. No nebula, no ships. Cool. 
like it, it's a thing where it's like you're not a good person but i can trust you to be a bad person you know like you are reliably a jack off whereas someone who might be good might be good you know it's like you can trust a chaotic neutral less than you can trust a lawful evil because like even though they're evil they've got a rule system you can rely on them uh our most gracious captain you must please join me in a drink you know, join me please in a drink to our alliance he invites himself aboard the ship to present a flask of something slimy he feigns offense but he senses he respects your caution damn straight he still opens fire jerk off Oh, and of course we're in a nebula. Yippee skip. Music's cool, though. Pew pew. I might do um, another episode later if I unlock uh, a ship, but it will not be the week after this. The week after this will be something different. I've got a, I've got a short list, actually. Uh, a short list, I should say, of the uh, things I will... Of the roguelikes I, I intend to look at. Um, a lot of them are itch.io games for your cheap that I got in that uh, bundle for racial equality. Black Lives Matter, by the way. Um, man, we're just whittling at this guy. And again, that racial bundle. It's so cool of people to do that. Like, I, I talk about it in episodes where I, where I review games in that bundle. But, like, I'm so glad that 8,000 people... Oh my god. They blew up my drone. Damn it. So it's not terrible whenever your drone gets blown up. At a point. Anyway. Um, yeah, I'm glad a bunch of people just banded together and were like, yeah, my game's going to be worth less than a cent for, for, you know, for the sake of this cause. And like, fuck yeah, dude. Actually, all I really have to do is just keep their weapons down. But yeah, that's just me. You know, being proud of uh, people, particularly indie game developers. Shout out to Itch.io. But um, as I was saying before that, I have a short list of games. Um, from that bundle, I also have um, a couple of games I picked up on Steam and a few other things. So he's got a beam weapon, which actually can't get through my shield at all, which is pretty cool. So as long as I can just keep his my shield up, he won't be able to hurt me, I think. It'll take a while, though, considering. But I have such such a... It, it's just the start, and, you know, I don't feel bad about the time that this will take. I would much rather have this man be dead, you know? Kill all slugs. And I mean, I haven't taken a hit, well, whereas he has. Actually, this is taking such a long time, I'm going to pause it. I'll see you guys in the next clip. So, five minutes passed. They surrendered. I decided to let them live. Jesus Christ. So as you may have seen in that, uh, in that battle... Um, we lost a drone, which just meant that the drone got blown up. A store. That, that, that'll be nice. Drone got blown up. Slug teleports to nowhere under the bridge. Before you can open fire, he spread his words across the helm and is branching things at you. A Pegasus missile launcher. I have 11 missiles, which actually means that a missile launcher would be pretty solid. Um, the Hermes. And heavy ion. I, I need to be able to do damage. Um, I've got myself back up to full. So let's just... Yeah, why not? Let's just, let's just let it rock from there. Okay. Okay. 
the slugs use a tactic you hope you never see. They use a remote hacking satellite to sabotage your oxygen production and fire weapons. You're going to suffocate. Cripes. Alright, let's just nuke the shit out of their... Out of their shield. There you go. There you go. Alright, and then you have to get to oxygen. It doesn't really, really matter that... There we go. Look at that. Nice and easy. It gets fucked up. We get what we can. Oh, that's not good. So you can see here our health regeneration on the ship. It's certainly helping to mitigate the effects of the fire as well, which is pretty solid. The uh, two crew members that we have are actually handling this pretty well. And like, oh my god, it's really annoying that I have so few crew members. But like, uh, you know? Like, if I had more crew members, I would be top of the world, Ma. Okay, get in there and help her. Right into another fire, huh? Now that he's got that being fixed, Kara is actually being healed, which is good. Okay. Kara is still being healed. You go fight fires. Like, you know what would make this better? If I had more than two guys on this stupid boat. Jeez. All right. Looks like we're going to have to go to the old faithful of opening and venting. Oh, God. Vent more. Vent more. I think it's over. Yep, sure is. No oxygen, but that's all right. You help him out. So you can see it goes up much faster here. Okay. I think that'll do it. I'll save it for the next store. I'll save my scrap for the next store. If nothing happens, then I will uh, start dumping it into the weapon system. Uh, we're waiting for a customer to aggress for ages. Care to see our wares? Uh, these are dangerous times. You need to explain some ground rules. No trades. Purchases are final. Understand? Forget this. Too many rules. Other things do not have that many rules. I didn't trust you. I don't feel like I need to. Uh, slug. A ship without slug markings. Stranded all the way out here. But it's a pirate ship. Let's kill him. Shields down. I don't know if that's on fire. And I have no way of telling. So let's just vent it. Like, you know that meme of, like, when you use a potion in a video game? Nice. When an enemy uses a potion in a video game. Fuck you. That's how I feel about every single thing in this game. Like, when I miss a shot, I'm like, fuck you. But when I hit a shot, I'm like, oh. When I kill a crew member on their team, I'm like, yeah. But when one of mine dies, I'm like, no. Like, I just, I, I feel... 
it's like an indignity to me. Don't kill us. We'll give you everything we have. Fuck you. Oh, shit. We've got to fix that. We don't have any weapons. Of course I... Uh-oh. The doors are fucking broken, so I can't close them. Quick, fix the doors. And then fix the... Yeah. Oh, Jesus. Okay. The drone is doing work, honestly, which is pretty good. Holds down to 50%. And you get out, you get in. Come on, just shoot him. Just shoot him. Just shoot him a little bit. Please. I need this. I mean, I kind of saw this coming, considering that I only have two guys. If I had more crew members, this would be no problem, because... I mean, come on. Oh my god, I never closed this... F I never closed that door. That was, that was the problem. I'd left that door open the whole time. Okay, get that ion on that shield. Now their shield stays down. They resisted it? Jeez, thank you. All right, we got more scrap. What a, what a, what a stupid thing of me. Actually, wait, you get back in here. You get up there. Oh my god, this... It's on fire. Of course, because of the stupid way that this fucking boat's constructed, you have to... There's no doors on this side. All right, just vent O2. Just vent it all. Just vent. Okay. Oh my god, I'm gonna kill myself. Because the doors caught fire, I can't close them. The the door control panel, I should say. Close, clothes. Get back to safety. <sighs> this is going poorly. How's the oxygen looking in here? Left the door open again. That certainly can't be helping, right? Get back to safety. All right. This is so dumb. Keep leaving those doors open. Wouldn't be a problem if the ship was constructed a little better, but you know. Who am I to judge? Actually, don't I have a button for... Yeah, I should just... I should remember to just close every door on every ship at all times. Okay. Oxygen is restoring to a normal percentage. So the thing that it says most crew need oxygen to live right there? Yeah, that's actually true. There are some uh, species that do not require oxygen. They are particularly useful because you can just suck all the oxygen out of a room and wait. You know, I wanted this because I was like, ooh, I'm going to go down the dangerous path. And granted, I have actually gone a little longer than I thought I would. Rock people. Oh been so long since I've seen the inside of my own boat. Jeez. That's a pretty long jump, so let's make it that way. I feel like I'll discover more that way. Rock flies past your window. A rock ship flies past your window, and you recognize outcast decorations. They're pirates. Power up.
Back to Old Faithful. Oh, jeez. Preemptively opening the doors. We're going to keep ioning that. We're going to have to take out their weapons, though. Okay, we took out one weapon. I wish you could time the drone's attack a little better. Like, he shoots when the shield is up, and then you... And, and it doesn't do anything, and the shield goes down. Oh, we're gonna die. Come on, take the hit. We're dead. We've got one more in us. I don't think we're gonna make it. Well, there we go. I, uh, I, I, I saw this coming, to be honest. I, uh, didn't see myself getting out of this in a clean way. I kind of knew that that was going to happen, but that's okay. Uh... <laughs> All right. I'm going to do another attempt though. It's so Friday Night Roguelikes. I'll keep going, you know? All right, jump to the first beacon. Well, already right off the bat. Take this thing in overdrive. Yeah, already we have rebels. Let's take the other weapons next. They've only got one shield, so. Probably gotta get you off and get you to fix that. Wow, I'm not used to having <laughs> enough people to actually fucking work on the ship. He's only got uh, two hit points left, which I feel pretty strong about. Let's move their ability to dodge since their shields are pretty much down. Nice. Very nice. Pompous bastards expected free service because they defeated the Federation. Take this for the help. Nice, we got even more. So we've got 82 right off the bat, basically from the start. But I'm not going to spend it yet. That's a cool looking planet back there. Uh, well, no, that's AD Federation ship again. Down the shields, get the drone. The idea of drones in space combat is really cool. Because I feel like a lot of space combat is just trying to be Star Trek again. Well, so again, they've actually blown up our drone here, which means that we have no uh, recourse to actually fight them. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to keep planking away at their weapon system. So one of them is actually a beam. One of their weapons, that is. Which means that they would have to get through our shield to even hit us. Of course, you saw me use a beam, I believe, earlier in the episode. Um, I'm thinking that this will be the last attempt for this episode. Um, if I unlock more ships, then I will probably play more FTL because I fucking love this game. And it's a very, very good roguelike. Nice. Thanks. Wow. Look at that. We're two jumps in. Like, this is where we started. We're two jumps in here. That's so great. Because we have so much fuel. Oh boy. So their shield aren't their shield's gonna be down all the time because of the asteroids. So let's focus on keeping their weapons down instead. Oh, there goes the oxygen. Now that they're gonna be focusing on that, let's also let's EMP their shield anyway. You win, here's some equipment. Six two eleven. Nah. You've earned an honorable death from me, haven't you? Wow. They have more broken... <laughs> they have... Oh, man. Oh, well. We got less for it, but you know what? I don't really care. I suppose it got destroyed in the asteroids. If that's actually what's happening, then it would do well. I would do well to remember that. Uh, thanks for showing to a beacon. FTL has gone haywire. Cool. 
And another one. I'm sure this one will go just as well. Um, satellite defense has gone haywire, and they can't fix it without being fired upon. Ion weapon. Oh, so as is the case in a lot of RPGs, uh, a special option is usually better. So we can ion them. Yeah, look at that. We just ion them down and EMP them. Never seen a weapon like that before. Thanks for your help. Please accept this. Look at that. So yeah, blue options are almost always better. Say this. Stay out of this or you'll be next. Concentrate fire on... Remote settlement blockaded by a pirate ship. You asked for it. They move to engage. Again, this is still the early game, so I feel very confident about my ability to fight level one stragglers. Nice. So EMPing things will take them out temporarily for a shorter time than it would if they were actually broken, but it will still count them as being, you know, less than less effective. So me EMPing their stuff stops them from dodging as well. Hell yeah. Look at that. Peck the remains. Contact settlement. Appreciate what you've done, but there'll be another ship looking to profit from our isolation soon enough. We can't give you more. 220. Stop off at the quest destination. Upgraded the reactor by one. Look at that. You can't buy that kind of service. I mean, you can, but very nice of them. Look at that. We've got we've got an upgrade on the ship. We've got 220. Defend the outpost. Oh, that's bad. So because they are a... Uh, because they've got cloaking, I can only hit them sometimes. Oh, and they have their own ion as well. So me being able to ion them, though, will actually keep ioning their cloaks. As you can see, the, the cloak ions itself... You know, it, it goes into shutdown after it's used because, you know, you can only use it for so long. But then me ioning it, ion blasting it, will also take it. Wow. Whoa! Thanks for the help. We've been harassed. Don't stop by the scouts. Take this on the house. Look at that shit. Look at our money! On to the next sector. Uh... Let's go this way because I want to be able to get to the green sooner. And then we can shoot through there. This might be a long episode. Considering how strong this start is. I'm not going to go backwards for the store because I'm just going to have to go forwards again anyway. Life from you are. We find you repugnant. We seek no, we seek no aid. Leave now. Sure. Well, I'll leave. Uh, let's pull you into here because we've actually forgotten to f I forgot to fix these. Kind of silly of me, but uh, yeah, I don't want to go backwards for a store because you have to jump back and then you have to jump forward again. Plasma storm. Despite the hard conditions, a rebel scout appears to be waiting for you. Hold on. Okay, let's depower this. Oh, jeez. What's happening? Why is I... Why aren't I able to run this? Have I been EMP'd or something? I thought my reactor got upgraded. Okay. Let's ion blast the weapon systems until we can get the hell out of here and then see if I can puzzle this out. That doesn't matter because... Uh... Oh shit, I forgot. Yeah, that doesn't matter because we can't see it anyway. Our FTL drive can't charge. Damn, that sucks. Oh, 
Oh, that's bad. This is really bad. How did this go so bad? I have so much money. Capitalist looking at coronavirus be like. Oh, fuck. Jeez, they're just shelling me. Aren't you guys going to run out of missiles? Jeez. How could this have happened? Oh. I feel like such an idiot. This is really bad. Things are worse than ever. I was like, ooh, this is going to be a long attempt. And you know what I did? I fucking jinxed it. Because I'm an idiot. Oh my god, that's on fire. Go, I guess. <sighs> Dude, I wasn't going to fight you. Though I guess I can probably just stall them out, right? Nope, I can't. I'm going to die with more money than I've ever seen at one time in this game. And it's all my fault. You know, this is a tale of greed. This is a tale of hubris. Oh my god. Well, there goes one of them. Well, that's the end of whatever this ship was called. This is a this is a really bad attempt considering how well it started off. And I'm dead in one more turn. Unless by some miracle the thing will finish charging, but I don't think it will. Nope. Well, I hope you guys enjoyed no. <laughs> that was so bad. Oh my god, that was so bad. Oh, that went so poorly. Oh my goodness. That sucked. <laughs> oh, man. <laughs> so yeah, you can see how there's quite a disparity in, in what can and can't happen in, in FTL Fashion and Light. Um, as I said in the earlier episodes, it's so pleasant to look at and listen to the art style is really good it, it's so well made the game balance and game design of being a hybrid of Oregon Trail and a rogue so good um I got it on sale in the Steam Summer Sale great great investment um it's a really it's a really good game I assume you've been watching it as far as you know i have it's it's a really damn good game and i highly recommend it this is one of the better roguelikes out there this is on a pantheon of roguelikes along with the original rogue of just like defining examples of roguelike and rogue is on there because it literally defined roguelike because you know it's named the genre and then yeah i got this one this one is so so good I I love this game, you know? So yeah, as I said, highly, highly, highly recommend this one. This one is one of the better roguelikes ever. And I'm gonna th I'm gonna throw this gauntlet down now. You know, I'm I'm gonna chunk this onto the ground. I will come back and play this again. Not next week. Though next week I might actually play a different space roguelike. Uh, this is just pure coincidence. This is because uh, I just happened to download this game to just to get it running, <laughs> just cause. Uh, but yeah, I might do I might do a third episode of 
FTL just because I like it so much. It'll be a little bit out there just so I, you know, don't overload. But yeah, this is a really good game. The fact that it is the first game to get two episodes of Friday Night Roguelikes should tell you a lot. Um, so yeah, this one is, this one's really up there. Uh, thank you guys for coming by. I have been Alfred. This has been Friday Night Roguelikes. Um, I'll see you guys next week or in the next video you watch of mine. Should you ever watch another video of mine? I hope you do. <laughs> anyway, uh, yeah, thanks for coming by. See you guys next time. Bye.